ChatGPT. 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 Enough. This is ChatGPT, and anything I say, it does. No. Well, except for that. Today, I'll be making a game using only the suggestions of this. So anything it tells me to do, I will do it, even if it ruins my game. How can you make this Scratch game? Sure, Scratch is a programming language and online community that is designed for inter- Blah blah blah, just tell me what to do. On the right hand of the screen, you will see... This is the left hand. So, it's it's wrong. Select a background. Okay, let me do that. We, we have limited options here. Let's do boardwalk. So we can paint a new sprite button. Let me delete the cat. I'll, I'll make my own bird. I'm, I'm on. We have cal Calvaret. Champ D money. <laughs> what is this? And then football. Just football. And long boy Jamal. Eamon. He looks like he's flying, right? We have a bird. Let me let me call it bird. Even though he's a moon, he's a bird now. We need to make obstacles, okay? They can be pipes, trees, or any object you'd like to use. I'll paint these. These are the obstacles. I don't know how to re but let's pretend I'm a noob. I don't know how to rename it. How can I rename the sprite? To rename a sprite in Scratch, follow these steps. In the Scratch editor, click on the sprite you'd like to rename. Okay. Above the sprite's costumes. So select it and type um obstacles. There we go. Okay, whew, I was really worried there. I need to make the bird fly. How do I make Flappy Bird fly in Scratch? That's that's what I make a Flappy Bird sprite flap its wings in Scratch. You can use the when space key pressed. Can you give me an example, please? <gasps> okay, cool. It, it writes me out. It writes it out for me. That's not gonna make me go up. That's gonna if I do that, go to the right. Yeah, that doesn't make me go up. Um, let me let me try asking it something else. It can literally understand how to do C++. Watch this. It'll explain it. It'll give me an in-depth analysis. So I could just paste this in. This is C++. This is a complex programming language, but every time I try to do scratch, it's just, it's just, <laughs> it's not working at all. Whoa, look at that detailed analysis. How to make the bird have gravity. Yo, we just have to set gravity to 0 0.1. And it'll work. I have to make a, a variable called gravity. That's not how it works. You don't just set gravity to point one. Okay. Um, well, for me, at least, the gravity should be working. Yeah. I'm own falls. I mean the bird. The bird falls. No, it's not the move block. It's the change y by ten. So we have we have a bird and obstacles. How to I can use negative numbers. Oh, move right. Okay, I can use negative numbers to make it move back. Thank you for unlocking it for me. There we go. You know, I never actually used this type of block before. I usually do just a repeat until. Wait, what is it telling me about if on edge bounce? To do this, use if on edge bounce block to detect when the sprite touches the edge of the screen. Well, I can use this for collision detection. Hold on. Yeah, I thought so. No, you can't. The artificial intelligence is wrong. It keeps on telling me the same thing. Okay, so I think now it just needs to detect if it's touching the pipe. Detect if the sprite is touching the pipe, sprite. You can use the if touching block. All right, the if touching block has been unlocked. Game over. It tells me, it explains to me. You can even use the if touching color block. That should work, right? It does. Okay, cool. Now let me make the obstacle stop. I didn't. How, how to broadcast message in scratch it's still loading whenever i make a spelling error i notice that happen there we go game over let me make a game over screen just because i think i broke it i think it's it's broken oh no there it goes to send a message also broadcasting you can use the broadcast block and specify the message that you want to send okay unlocked it's now been unlocked now I need a probably sound effects and a game over screen. I'll ask it how to do it. Okay, how to um, make a game over screen? To create a game over screen, I said screen. So it's telling me to use the say block. Well, I need a game over screen. How to make a game over sprite in Scratch. Load. Okay, we can use the paint new sprite button. All right, I have unlocked this. Uh, let's call it game over. You can then use the when I receive and switch costume to. Okay. It's it's not a bird, it's just a moon. Wait, I just noticed something. He's ha he has like he has his glasses on backwards. I think I'm pretty sure that's what those pixels are. Poor Amon. He's died. Amon has perished. Press green flag to restart. 
Okay, so I need the message block. When I receive game over, switch costume, game over. Oh, let me rename this game over. So hopefully, wait, I can't see my game now. Tell me, I can't see my game. Okay, make sure your game is running. Let me see. Yeah, the game is running. Make sure your game is not hidden behind other Windows applications. No, I can see this. Make sure, yeah, that's not it. That's what it is. It's just that the game over screen is covering everything. Wait, so it's, instead of using the hide and the show blocks, it's telling me to use switch costume. Why? Well, just why? Green flag, switch costume to blank. I mean, it works. Okay, I need a score. Okay, I'm going to score from scratch. You can use the change score by block to increase and decrease the score. I, I'm, I'm, it's implying that I make a variable called score. You're just indirectly telling me. Okay, so when a green flag clicked, set score to zero. When I receive points, so I guess that'll go in here. When I receive point, change score by one, and then say score. Why? Why do I need to say the score? Okay. Wait, it's not saying the score. I think this needs to go at the top. Just why? <laughs> That's so bad. I think I need a hitbox. That it's actually not how we do it. We just go into here and we duplicate and delete. This is the hitbox. That's how we do it. Hitbox. I don't know what it's talking about. Switch costume to hitbox and then switch costume to Amon. There we go. Amon has a hitbox. Oh, now the clones are just piling up. Ah, that was close. Okay. Um, let me delete the clones at the end. Okay, now, now I need music. How do I put music in my game? I stopped working. Okay, I'll do it myself. It has, it has given up on me, the artificial intelligence. I'll put in my own stuff. I'll put in the scratch default sounds because they're just, they're so bad it's not even copyrighted. This is the game over screen. Game over. Sound. When I receive game over, play sound. Want. <laughs> okay, now Amon, he needs a flap sound. This one. He's flying because he thinks he's a bird, so he makes bird sounds. <laughs> okay, cool. I think that's it. I made a game. Well, artificial intelligence made the game for me, but I still kind of made it myself. I participated in it. Alright, I think that's it. I will see you in another video.